Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. It's been too long since we've done a Scorpions analysis, so we're going to return with the song that you have recommended the most, Send Me an Angel. And specifically, I want to take a look at the acoustic live version, because I think this is going to let us get into Klaus's vocal details the most. Let's get to it. I really love all of the um, crisp elements that I'm hearing in here. It is so much lighter, not surprising too, with an acoustic version um, than I've heard from the Scorpions before. So that's really cool. I want to go back to the beginning. Um, I, I just want to point out some of the different elements. There's a lot of different textures that immediately are brought into play. Right, so you have, I think, like some chimes there. And there's a wood block in addition to a couple of other sounds within the percussion. And of course you have the guitar that's playing essentially an ostinato. And there's a rain stick in there. Oh, and there's some synths that started up there. Like and chimes in the other direction, keyboard. There's a lot of layered elements here. And the cello too is beautiful. It's pretty. That's really pretty. Wise men said, just walk this way to the dawn of the night. Wind will blow into your face As the years pass you by Hear this voice from deep inside It's the call of your heart Close your eyes and you will find The we out of the dark something so haunting about this melody and then the way that Klaus is delivering it it I love the way he adds a sort of a hush of airflow over it sometimes uh, I also love the way that there's a really relaxed present vibrato at a lot of times just a little bit it brings a tenderness to the tone um mm, I'm gonna go back mm, mm. It's a very nice voice. <sighs> Wise men said, just walk this way to the dawn of the light. The wind will blow into your face as the years pass you by. So he's uh, he's got the nasality, right? I've talked about this before where he's singing through his nose, but he also at the same time does have loft and depth in this sound. Sometimes with nasality, it's all forward, 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 forward. And there's a like a, a nice flow, almost like sometimes I'll think about a, a fountain, like a spout that's blowing up and there's like a ball maybe that's, you know, being held aloft by the water. Um, that's the kind of breath flow that can be very successful in singing. There are other ways to think about it too, but that's what I hear is this really beautiful, consistent, bubbly breath underneath it and focus here at the same time as having some inner space to create some of that depth and tone. Just walk this way to the dawn of the light. It's beautiful. The wind will blow into your face as the years pass you by. Hmm. Hear this voice from deep inside It's the call of your heart Close your 
your eyes and you will find that we are of the dark. Remember I said before the melody is haunting? I love that they recognized that this melody was so good they repeated it. I think I just heard it four times in a row. I think it was four times. This is the melody, like, when you get a really good melody, you should do it again and again and again. It's good stuff. Um, and then it also is going to become extra sticky because we're hearing that repetition of it. It's really pretty. Close your eyes and you will find Good. Again, so many different layers in the music. I liked having the backing singers come in here too. There's a lot of just very soft textures that are coming in and weaving in and weaving in and weaving in. Pretty arrangement. Um, I'm, I'm actually really curious to go back and hear the non-acoustic version. Now is it, I'm wondering if it's much heavier. I, it's almost hard to imagine how they would, oh, I don't know, it's really cool. Um, I wanna go back and look at a, a few things he does in here um, with his phrasing that's really, really cool. And I just like the sincere delivery. I feel so heartfelt. Close your eyes and you will find Oh, there's that hush of air that, that I was talking about. Find. He like has a uh, extra air that kind of shoots over the top that is um, exciting and uh, intimate and uh, yeah airy I guess very full of full of breath but there's a, a certain closeness that you feel from hearing that very interesting harm harmony shift there but in particular on Am, um, let's look at his mouth. So he's keeping his mouth fairly closed on Am. And I wanted to look at this because I heard it coming through his nose a little bit more there. Here I am. If you keep your mouth more closed, it's more likely that the sound is going to exit through the nose. He's keeping it in a pocket there, meaning he's essentially matching some of the resonance from before. So he's doing something that works for him and his sound here. Uh, for a lot of people, if they wanted to move away from that nasal uh, passageway exit, just open the mouth more. Here I am. If you go, ah, more of the sound will exit through your mouth instead of through your nose and it will reduce the nasality. Here I am. Actually, that's a great example. Here Look at the backing singers. There you go, all of those backing singers have a wider mouth on M. So that phrasing I was talking about, he does a little lilt up instead of bringing the line through in um. Like in one big phrase like this, he does sort of a little lilt up in the middle and then comes back down. And it happens on, will you send me an angel? And the other phrase was, in the land of the morning, sorry, in the land of the morning. So he, he lifts it up. He doesn't let the energy drop. He does a lilt instead up and then comes back down and it makes it, um, it makes it lighter in a lot of ways. It's very pretty.
I love the cello in this. <laughs> I was wondering if these instruments, um, if they were all acoustic or if they'd pushed a button that sent on a synthesizer and had some of them play. And you've got a rain stick. Somebody's actually like playing the rain stick. I usually have only seen the rain stick used as a sound effect, maybe once or twice in a song. But someone's actually legitimately going for it. Full out, full rain stick. <laughs> There you go, rain stick! Sing the roses along the way. Just beware of the thorns. Here I am. We sent me an angel. I think it's amazing how accurate he is with his pitch. And it's getting pretty high, but he's still keeping it right on. Um, it seems like when he wants to slide, he slides. Otherwise, he's just very, very, very clean. Um, and there are, are moments where he just seems like he's got this super steady, unshakable support. You see him singing. This is not easy to sing at this point. Um, but he seems really well grounded. I think that he's relying heavily on low support to keep the sound very steady at that point and to keep too much air pressure off of the larynx. Yeah, he seems so calm. Oh, good. Good elongation of that note. Ah, uh, wow. He even decrescendos it. That's hard. It's good control. did not expect that keyboard solo. There is so much jazziness in it. There's like a bluesiness to it as well. Um, lots of little grace notes in there, accidentals that resolve up. And and then you have the ooh and the ah. It feels like, like ah, it feels like we're adding elements from a slightly different genre in there, which is really, really interesting within this whole texture, especially really interesting to hear right after this cello solo, which felt Classical almost had like a Chinese element, but it felt very traditional in all aspects. And then you get this keyboard solo, which felt like it was from a totally different genre. They're definitely crossing a bunch of influences right now. But um. All those gray notes in there. He did that thing again, the ba ba ba, ba ba ba. And when he finishes the phrase, there's like a little kiss off at the end too. It's like, he doesn't just let it die. It's like he sends it off with a little benediction, if you will. Wise man said, just raise your hand and reach out for the spell. Sorry. Just one more thing. I mean, this is very important what he's doing with the phrasing. He's doing a lift and then coming back down it. 
there are many people that because the sound stops there, they would think, oh, I should take a breath. And he's instead scanning that moment. He's not taking a breath and it's ba 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 ba. And that allows the phrase to lift up instead of having a break in the energy and having it drop down. got such nice access to the overtones on that. You know, I, I was looking at um, some spectral analysis of vibrato and non-vibrato, and often when vibrato was entering this particular voice, you would hear more overtones enter. Often there's a relaxation, possibly enhances the vocal tract, so it is able to um, create more resonance and have some of those overtones essentially more vibrant. Uh, I don't know if that's what's happening here, but my ears are picking up on some bright shimmering above his voice when he's singing through Am, and that vibrato comes in. It sounds really vibrant. There we are. I bet that that would project really, really well without a microphone over instruments. I think that that sound has got the overtones on top to make it carry like crazy. the way that this whole song just feels like a hug. There's so much warmth. Um, there's a certain pleading to it, but there's a humanness to it. Here I am, will you send me an angel? It's like looking for help at the same time. It feels human. It feels warm. Um, hmm. Yeah, gives me the good feels. <laughs> I love it when music can do that. Wow. Hmm. Love cello. I like Klaus's voice in this, in particular, the warmth and tenderness that he has, and the way that he's so careful and deliberately uh, light with the phrasing. There's beautiful elements of storytelling throughout as well. I think that these lyrics are so human and comforting. It's just a beautiful, feel-good song all around. Uh, also, thank you to you all for this acoustic version recommendation. This was a really, really good idea. I feel like it let us dig into his vocal line more and appreciate all of these different textures that were being added. If you'd like to see some of my other Scorpions analysis videos, you can check those out in a playlist over here. And otherwise, may you fall more in love with music every day. <laughs>